Hi everyone, um, it's Balraj Gill, owner or founder of 237 Performance and Conditioning Studio. Today I want to talk about attachment. Um, there's different levels of attachment and many of us are attached to things, to people, to ideas, to diseases and illnesses. So I'll give you a few examples. Um, an attachment, the reason I want to talk about it is because I talk a lot about energy and attachment is actually a low vibrating energy. Um, so many people are attached to their things, like we become attached to our dishes or to our clothing and yet we will go buy new dishes or new things for our kitchen, we'll go buy new clothing but we have a real hard time getting rid of the old, even if we don't wear the old. And sometimes we hoard. We just buy things for the sake of buying them. And we stick them in our closets and we don't even use them. But we still sent, um, develop this sense of attachments towards these things. Um, attachment is stagnant energy. When you have clothing in your closet or dishes in your cupboards that you do not use, they become stale, they become stagnant, and they become low vibrating. Everything wants to be used. Everything, the more you put your hands on stuff, the more it becomes your own and you infuse your energy within the glassware or the um, the steel, if you've got um, steel pots, whatever, or you use your stove, whatever it may be. Things that aren't used, therefore become stale. So it is really important, I think, to be a minimalist and not buy into all of that oh you need this that's all marketing they want you the stores want you to buy their items obviously it's a place of business but you know next time you go into anywhere think twice about it do you really need that item because when you bring it home you're just is it going to sit in your closet? And if it is and you don't care, then fine. Let it. Get rid of the old stuff that you don't like. Go through your stuff, not just your closet, your basement, your Christmas ornaments. The stuff that you're not using, give it away to your furniture. Maybe you're in a big, huge house, house and you're not using half your house. That's stagnant. Downgrade. If you're not using stuff, give it away to people that can use it. Therefore, the energy in the material, because everything has energy, can be sustained. And it's, I don't believe in karma, but you do get the good, you get good vibes from people that you help. For example, every time I moved, I always end up giving my stuff, stuff away. I very rarely sell stuff. Very, very rarely. So every time I've moved, I've set up, women um, who have been battered and are coming out of a batter a shelter and they're trying to make it on their own and they have kids. Every time I've set these women up, I know that the stuff that I'm giving away, and that's how I developed that sense of detachment actually, was seeing these women and they were so thankful and their kids were so happy, they had beds. So that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about attachment. Um, it's not healthy. Don't attach yourself to things. Don't attach yourself to people. Sometimes the same thing applies to people. Sometimes relationships are just dead, over, gone, done. And the way you know is when your soul will no longer grow with that person. Their energy is no longer required because they can't help you grow your energy and elevate positive energy outside of yourself to other people. If that person isn't there anymore and maybe you've outgrown them, then it's over. It's time to go. 
And if you can't go, then it may also be a sense of attachment, again, to that person. I mean, if that person decides to um, grow or shows you growth within themselves, that's different. Then you have something to grow together with still. But if it becomes the same cycle keeps repeating and repeating, then it's attachment and it's time to go. You don't need stale. You need fresh. You need vibrance. You need love. So you can give love. That's it. Happy Friday.